Hello everybody, I'm Daryl Tucker and this is Painting with Tuck. All right, today we'll be doing the ladybug. We got the ladybug on the flower. Ladybug on the flower. You see that little ladybug right there? We're going to put her on the flower. All right, right on the paddle. What you'll need today is a flat brush and a pointy brush. All right, flat point, flat brush and a pointy brush. We're gonna use our paint on paper plates. All right, paint on paper plates. This is the colors that we have. We have blue for the petals. We have yellow for the background and right in the middle of the flower. Uh, we have brown also for the middle of the flower. Uh, we have red for the ladybug and we got black for the ladybug. All right. So that's the colors that we'll need today. All right. Let me tell you something though. I'm going to paint I'm going to paint it like this on this canvas, but you can paint it the colors you would like to paint it. It doesn't have to be yellow in the background. It could be red, orange, blue, green. It could be whatever you want because that is your business, okay? That's your business. You can do what you want to do. You're the you're the artist, okay? I'm just here to show you how I did it. I'm just here to show you how I did it. So, you need the paint, the paper plate, the brushes, and the water. And the cup of water, okay? The cup of water, that's all the water you need, okay? Just put about that much water in it. I have bigger brushes because I'm going to be painting on a bigger canvas to show you. You also will need a pencil. You also will need a pencil so you can draw along with me um, so you can paint what you drew so you can paint what you drew I'm gonna I'm gonna draw with a paintbrush because you won't be able to see a pencil if I was to draw on here cause the light don't hit right <laughs> the light don't hit right so I'm gonna paint with brown uh, I'm gonna draw out with brown and you all just draw along with me okay with your pencil so let's get started woo, 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 woo. <laughs> let's get started so I'm gonna get my brown ready. We're gonna start with the flower. We're gonna start with the flower. All right, so what we're gonna do is put a circle here. That half circle right there. See that? That's the middle of your flower. And then we're going to do petals, okay? So I'm going to start here and act like this is half a petal. Other half we can't see. Then you're going to draw a full petal. Full petal. Then we're going to draw a petal here. That's the petal that the ladybug's going to be on. That's the petal that the ladybug's going to be on. And then we're going to do one more petal. One more petal. Uh, all right, all right. Now I'm going to draw the ladybug. On this third petal right here, all you're doing is drawing that little hump. Draw that little hump like that, and then a little hump for its head. Look how simple that was. That was real simple, wasn't it? That was real simple, wasn't it? Let me tell you something. If I am drawing too fast, if I am painting too fast, guess what you can do? Just press pause. Press pause until you catch up, then press play, and we'll go back at it. All right. So now it is time to start painting. So I'm going to do the yellow background. And as I told you before, you can do whatever color paint background you want to do because that is what? That is your business. <laughs> that is all your business. But I'm going to go with yellow. I'm going to go with yellow because that's what color I started with on this painting, on this smaller painting right here. So I'm going to mix my yellow and white together. Okay? I'm going to kind of two-tone the, the uh, yellow background. So I'm going to start with a light a light, light yellow. 
behind the petals. Okay? And if you happen to paint over your lines with your yellow, if you happen to paint over your lines with the yellow, that's fine because you can still paint on top of your yellow uh, with a darker color, so you'll be all right. I just like to blotch. I like to blotch in my background on this painting. So I just kind of cross back and forth with my brush. You can do it just straight, straight line, however you want to do your background. You can do because that's what, because that's your business. That's right. That's your business. So. Get that. Go around the ladybug. Go around the ladybug. Go around the ladybug. And remember, and remember, if I'm going too fast, what you need to do, press pause. Just press pause. Just press pause till you catch up with me. Then press play. All right, so that's around the whole background with my bright yellow. Now, I'm going to go with uh, just the solid yellow now. The, the yellow without the white in it and kind of blotch around a little bit just to show, show a different color just to show a different color yellow different colors besides the one yellow in the background it gives it a little texture it makes it look it makes it look good It doesn't have to be all over, just in different spots, different spots. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do the center of the flower. And the center of the flower is going to be the yellow. So the bright yellow again. So go back to the bright yellow again, y'all. Bright yellow and start in the middle. And work your way up. I like to go, I like to go in the shape of the flower. You see how I'm going like that? In the shape, in that arch shape. Go in that arch shape all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up the center of the flower even more. So I'm going to go to my solid white. And since my yellow's uh, still wet. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start in the middle the very bottom corner And just lighten up that middle part just a little bit, okay? I don't know if you can see that from back there. Let me bring it up a little bit. I Lightened up just this little part right here. I just put a little white in there lightened it up now I'm gonna mix some brown my brown and yellow together. Brown and yellow together. 
Oh man, we're cooking with we're cooking with fire now, y'all. We're cooking with fire. All right, and I'm going to just dot around, okay? I'm a dot. See, I'm just pressing. I'm pressing on my around the edge. Just press around the edge with dots. Still using your flat brush, y'all. Flat brush through most of this. Unless we're doing detailed work, then we use the, the pointy brush. But right now we're using a flat brush. So just keep on, keep on dotting around and just let the paint kind of run out. The paint will run out on its own. Look at that. Look at that. The paint just ran out on its own. And you see how it faded? Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. See how it faded? All right. Now we're going to do the petals. So my petal's blue. My petal is blue, so I am going to make a lighter blue. A lighter blue, so I'm gonna mix my white and blue together. White and blue together. It's not gonna be like sky blue, but it's gonna be. It's not gonna be as dark as the regular blue. And then I go in the shape of the petal. Okay. Uh oh, got some brown in there, but that's okay. Paint over that. I can paint over that. Okay. Make sure that you clean your brush well. When you're mixing colors, when you switch into a different color, make sure you clean your brush well. Put it in that water, uh, swirl it around, use your napkin, clean your brush well. There we go. There we go. That's one petal. Like I said, I like to go, I like to go paint in the shape of what I'm, what I'm uh, painting. Okay, so this petal, I like to paint in that shape, the shape of the petal. two done. Now it's time for the petal that the ladybug's on. Okay. All right, pedal three. Pedal three is done. Last pedal. Last pedal. And don't forget, if I'm going too fast, press pause and catch up. If I'm going too fast, press pause and catch up. petals now I'm gonna use solid blue solid blue and still use the 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 big brush okay solid blue and I'm gonna put some lines in my uh, petals 
give it a little definition. So just kind of put some curves in it. Starting at the bottom and just kind of curving out a little bit. Okay. Curve. Put some curve to your flower. Curve to your petals. All right. There we go. There we go. Now it's time for the ladybug. It's ladybug time. Clean that brush really good. Dip it in that water. Use that napkin. Pull it off. Pull it off. All right, I'm dipping in my red. Hit the shell of the ladybug, the shell of the ladybug. So that's the shell. Now it's time for the head. I'm still using the big brush, y'all. If you all, if y'all's ladybug is really small and you need to use the pointy brush, use the pointy brush. Use the pointy brush if you need to. Alright. Now. Now I'm gonna use the, the pointy brush. I'm gonna put the dots on, but first I'm gonna put antenna. Antenna on him first. So we got one, two. We got two antenna. And then dots on his on her back. Dots on her back. I'm gonna put about five dots on her. That's one, two. Three, four, five. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Let me show you what we got here. So we got Ladybug Junior and Ladybug Senior. All right. I hope you all enjoy painting with me. Um, please like this video and be on the lookout for the next one. And you all have a wonderful day.